we shall look at uh, a specific algorithm called affinity propagation clustering, which is an exemplar clustering algorithm. But first, what exactly is exemplar clustering? We are given a set of data points or samples. By the way, I shall be using the terms data point, point, and sample to mean exactly the same thing. This is the outcome of exemplar clustering. Points are assigned to exemplars. The exemplars are uh, shown within circles. There are four exemplars here, colored red, blue, purple, and green. The rest of the points are assigned to any of the four exemplars. Each point is served by one and only one exemplar. Here in this figure, each line connects a point to its own exemplar. Note that the exemplars are points too. This is how exemplar clustering, like affinity propagation, differs from other methods like the k-means algorithm. The k-medoids algorithm is another method of exemplar clustering, but we shall be looking at affinity propagation clustering. Note that uh, the exemplars are points too. Affinity propagation clustering was first published uh, in this paper in 2007. Script N is the set of all data points. N is the cardinality um, of uh, script N. That is, uh, it's the number of data points. And lowercase N and M are indices of data points in N. K is the script K is the set of all exemplars. K is the number of potential exemplars from amongst the N data points. But we shall assume that K equals N. That is, every point is considered as a potential exemplar. Lowercase k and l are indices of potential exemplars. Here we shall assume that uh, we follow the same indexing for the data points and potential exemplars. S and k represents the similarity between points n and k. The set of all such pairwise similarities uh, is the input to the clustering algorithm. Now, there are two kinds of messages. Rho NK is the message sent by data point N to the potential exemplar K. Availability uh, alpha NK is the message sent by potential exemplar K to the data point N. Lastly, k of n denotes the exemplar of point n. If k is the exemplar of n, then k of n is equal to k. Similarity. S and k indicates how close n is to k. And uh, uh, S and K may be set to be negative of the Euclidean distance between the two points N and K. Um, XN and XK are the coordinates of the two points N and K. Uh, the set of all similarities can be stored in this N by N matrix, uppercase bold S. And S need not be symmetric. In other words, S and K may not be equal to S, K, N. So uh, distances can be replaced with uh, uh, any divergence. Self-similarities, uh, S, K, K can either be initialized to zero or assigned using some heuristic approach. And higher self-similarity uh, makes K more likely to become an exemplar. 
the objective of this uh, algorithm is to maximize the summation over every data point n of the similarity between n and its exemplar k of n. Suppose k is the exemplar of point n. L is another exemplar and M is another point. The similarity S N K is included in the objective. However, S N L and S N M are not included in the objective. The objective, again, is to maximize the total of all similarities between points and their respective uh, exemplars. For a point to serve as the exemplar of some other points, it must be its own exemplar. Next, let us look at how message passing takes place in affinity propagation clustering. The responsibility rho and k indicates how suitable k is to serve as an exemplar for n. As a reminder, each data point is a potential exemplar. So all responsibilities can be stored as an n by n matrix R. And this uh, matrix of responsibilities is initialized to all zeros by the algorithm. Now, this is how each responsibility, rho and k, is computed. Rho and K, uh, that point N sends to exemplar K includes the similarity S and K. Naturally, because the more the similarity between the two, N and K, the better suited K is to serve as an exemplar for N. From S and K, we subtract alpha n l plus s n l of another potential exemplar l thus rho n k is the similarity between n and k minus this of another potential exemplar L, which potential exemplar L, the one which is best suited to serve as an exemplar of N other than K itself. Availability alpha NK shows how suitable K is for point N, K and N compared to other potential exemplars. And the set of all availabilities can be stored as an n by n matrix A. And this availability matrix is also initialized to zero by the algorithm. Each k sends uh, to other points n, um, alpha n k. This is a cross availability because um, n is not equal to k. And there is also self-availability alpha k k which um, the potential exemplar k uh, retains uh, that is sense to itself and that's given by this expression here. To obtain the cross availability alpha n k sent by k to n, we first take 
the self responsibility uh, of potential exemplar k and to it we add the sum of responsibilities to other points m we upper bound alpha n k so that it cannot be positive for self availabilities uh, we lower bound all other responsibilities so that they are never negative and then take their summation affinity propagation clustering terminates after several rounds of message passing and after termination it's uh, time to pick which are the actual exemplars so each point k is selected as an exemplar if rho kk plus alpha kk is greater than zero and uh, since an exemplar must be its own exemplar we let k of k be equal to k itself um, the exemplar k of any other point n is the one which has the highest similarity so that k of n where n is not an exemplar is argmax um, over k of similarity s n k now let's look at the complete algorithm so this do loop here this is the uh, main body of the algorithm and uh, th this is the initialization so s is initialized to negative of d or um, one can use heuristics for um, the diagonal elements of the similarity matrix uh, s the responsibility matrix and the availability matrix both of these are initialized to zeros and so for every point n this is what we do we uh, send out the responsibilities and then for every potential exemplar we uh, do this uh, for the self uh, availability and for the cross availability and so this is carried out several times and then we finally identify uh, by adding up rho kk and alpha kk um, uh, if it's greater than zero then we um, identify that point uh, k as an exemplar and then we assign the rest of the points to the exemplars that we have selected now in this algorithm this set k um, should have been initialized to zero it's not shown here now note that this for loop and this for loop they can be parallelized um, all the points um, here uh, do it in parallel and uh, here all potential exemplars which are the points themselves do uh, these in parallel and uh, this can also be parallelized message passing in the algorithm can be restricted to local neighborhoods consider two points n and m this is the local neighborhood of the point n and this is the uh, local neighborhood of the point m so m can communicate with points within this circle here and n can communicate only with points within this circle message passing uh, may be restricted to uh, mutually neighboring points so there can be message passing between m and n since each of them is in the other's neighborhood however n and some other point here uh, cannot communicate with one another because this point here is this point here is 
outside the local neighborhood of the point N. An exemplar like this one here can serve a point, any of these points, as long as two-way message passing is possible between uh, the points and the exemplar. That is, the point and the exemplar must be mutual neighbors. Advantages of um, uh, this affinity propagation clustering. Uh, the number of exemplars k need not be pre-assigned. So, in other words, the algorithm determines its own uh, number of exemplars k. That's unlike k-means algorithm. The distances and similarities may be asymmetric. That is, uh, dAB need not be equal to dBA. D here is the distance between A and B and B and A. They need not satisfy the triangle inequality either. The algorithm can be realized only through local message passing. It's also a deterministic algorithm, so there is no need to rerun the algorithm multiple times.